Hi everyone, welcome back. So first game of Group E in this Asian Cup 2023 and we've seen one of the big favorites, Korea, uh, South Korea playing against Bahrain and yeah, I mean, we knew that this was going to be an interesting matchup because this uh, this is a matchup that we have seen in the 2019 tournament. It was in the round of 16 and Korea, do uh, South Korea won that matchup but it was just in the extra time, so we knew that, uh, we already knew that Bahrain would have been a difficult uh, team to uh, encounter for South Korea, and it actually was an interesting match. It was an interesting match. Uh, all the big names for South Korea were were, uh, were in, the, in the on the field, besides Wang Ge Chan, and uh, the game was pretty balanced for in the first half so the first half seemed to go towards a new new end but Wang Inbeum uh, scores uh, be before the end of the first half at the 39th minute it was uh, a ball coming in from the from the left and he shot a beautiful shot uh, that uh, Lutfala couldn't take and uh, so South Korea went to the uh, locker room with the advantage then beginning of the second half, we've seen something probably unexpected watching watching this game because Bahrain was solid. Uh, it was a tough match, a lot of yellow cards, and Abdullah Al Hashash uh, scored the game that uh, the goal that tied the game at the 51st minute. That was a shocker and at that point, and uh, the two minutes, one minute, two minutes after that goal. I thought, okay, this might be difficult for South Korea because uh, Bahrain is very really solid and they don't concede a lot. And so they really need something from the stars. So either uh, Heung Min Son, Lee Kang In, uh, Cho Gue Sung, someone, uh, someone needs to do something and Lee Kang In scored an absolutely beautiful goal from outside the area the assist is from Kim Min Jae and wow really beautiful and this shows uh, that Lee Kang In is really a star player is already a player that brings can bring his national team out of the uh, of the difficulties and that's really really important uh, for all Korean football because of course Kim um, Kim Min Jae uh, Heung Min uh, Son um, is not young anymore is not a young kid anymore so uh, uh, this might be his last Asian Cup I don't know if he's gonna uh, for how long he's gonna still playing for uh, the his national team I think for sure uh, until the next uh, World Cup I don't know what his plans are I hope that he keeps playing I like when I like when players especially big players decide to keep going with their national team and we're their international duty until the end of their career unfortunately this doesn't happen uh, much anymore but um, anyways seeing young players like Lee Kang In uh, performing so well is really really important for the South Korea team and at the 69th minute is again Lee Kang In the scores from Wang In Beom and this goal ends the, the, the match uh, there are a couple of opportunities for South Korea after that. Heumison tried to score, um, but uh, he didn't. Uh, he didn't at the end, uh, he couldn't score. There was a defense uh, based on him, on Heumison by Bahrain, so it was difficult for him to move. But Lee Kang In, he was able to uh, score. Okay, uh, okay, now we're good. Uh, sorry, little technical problem. It's normal. I'm recording a lot for this Asian Cup, so my memory was full and I didn't notice. Anyways, uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, Lee Kang In, great game by him, and he's certainly the man of the match for uh, this South Korean Bahrain matchup. So uh, let's see the standings, of course, as I said before, this is. Uh, just the first match of this Group E. Uh, Korea Republic are in the front with three points, three goals scored and one against. Bahrain with zero points, one goal scored and three against. Uh, we'll see later on today Malaysia against Jordan and we'll see who's gonna be the major candidate 
to um, to uh, go on to the knockout stages uh, with probably uh, South Korea and uh, yeah i mean anyways a loss uh, today doesn't mean that you're out of the tournament this counts of course for bahrain and also for uh, in case who loses if someone loses between jordan and malaysia and uh, it's still the first like it's just the first game still there's still a lot of time so even if you lose now doesn't mean your tournament is over you can recover absolutely with no problems and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching and see you soon.